Stanford University. I like how it makes an almost lightsaber-like sound. We've all seen the Star Wars movies. They're a lot of fun, and the sword fights, of course, are one of the most entertaining parts of it, and so it seemed like it'd be cool to be able to actually sword fight like that against a computerized opponent, like a Star Wars video game. It flies quite a bit of force. <laughs> Star Wars is pretty much the only movie in which you have both robots and swords simultaneously. It is swinging the sword at me with a series of predefined attack motions. And when it detects hitting my sword like this, it will recoil and move to the beginning of the next attack motion. It can get off a swing and an attack once every two to three seconds. So you have to be on your toes and ready to block it. <laughs> The robot is like hauling back and swinging at you, so yeah, it definitely feels real. The sword's coming at you. We were recently at a conference in Shanghai, and a company was showing two robots fencing. And this is easy, because every robot knows exactly what the other robot is doing. The challenge here is how can you get a robot to understand what the human is doing? So right now it's in defense mode, so it's trying to find the best position to block the way that I'm trying to hit it. The first part of the problem is, of course, sensing where the person's sword is. You've got to know where it is if you're going to block it with the robot. So we're using a Microsoft Connect to do the sensing so it can detect points in 3D, and that's how we're able to find where the sword is. We use the color image to isolate the sword from the background because the opponent's sword is green and nothing else in the background is green. As I move it around, it is tracking my sword. It's always really cool to see what you spend so much time programming actually running on physical hardware. We're really lucky here at Stanford to be able to take a class where you actually are programming and are actually making something move, working with hardware. That was something really exciting. <laughs> That's right. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.